Hi, today we're going to look at Desafinado, also known as Slightly Out of Tune by Carlos Hobim. This is a very popular bossa nova of the 1950s and provides some really interesting bossa nova chords and Latin jazz chords. <music> So to start with, I generally tend to use the same bossa nova rhythm, but of course when you're playing bossa novas or sambas, you really want to mix up that rhythm, it's a very improvisatory form. But just for the sake of teaching the form and teaching the chords, we're basically using this rhythm which goes like this. Now I use that a lot in, in a lot of my videos and you probably want to look in my channel to go further into that kind of pattern. But I've written it out for you in the tab and the music so you should be able to follow along. So this piece is in F major, and so we start with an F major 7 chord with its root note, the tonic note on F. And this is a very standard F, uh, major 7th chord. And we're going to do a 2 bar a bossa nova pattern, which sounds like this. So that's over 2 bars. So this is built from a G7 chord, but the 5th degree has to be flattened. It doesn't have to be, but it sounds more authentic. So it looks like this. So we do the same pattern over that. And then we shift to an, a G minor 7 chord. So that's basically those three notes with the G bass. So all the basses so far are on the 6th string. Okay, so this is a 1 bar. So the, the pattern has to be split into two. The second part of the pattern will be C7 flat 9, which sounds like that. Now with a C7 flat 9, you want to think of C7 with that C moved up to D flat. You can either play it like that, so C7 moved up, or a little triangle at the top, and then flatten out the one. And it sort of depends on the situation. Sometimes I'll play it like this, sometimes I'll play it like this. So let's just do that pattern, G minus 7 to C7 flat 9. So we're going to go. Notice that I anticipate the C7 flat 9, so this last quaver of that bar is, is a C7 flat 9. One. Okay. Then we go to an A7, A minus 7 flat 5, which looks like this. And you can have the bass on the 6th string, but because it's the same as the open 5th, I usually just play open 5th. And also that also depends on context. Okay, and we're going to anticipate the D7 flat 9, the same as we anticipated the C7 flat 9, we're going to anticipate the D7 flat 9, which is just moved up two frets. Back to G minor 7. Now we're going to anticipate an A7 flat 9, which looks like this. And then we go to a D7, which is C7 moved up. And then this is the uh, time where we're going to just slide that first finger up for the flat 9. All right, and then we go to our G7 flat 9 as well. So this is a slightly different version of the 7 flat 9 chord, and I do it like this. So this is over two bars. Uh, so it's a G7, A flat. And then G, G flat 7 major 7. Okay, so it's a major 7 chord, G flat major 7. Okay, keep on going, we're going to go back to our starting chord. So this is essentially a repeat, F major 7 for two bars, G7 flat 5, G minor 7, C7 flat 9 anticipated, A minor 7 flat 5, D7 flat 9. I should also note that A minor 7 flat 5 chord is the same as a half diminished. So you might see it with a little circle with a slash across. That's a half diminished, also the same. It's the same chord. G minor seven. And this is when we begin the modulation. We're gonna go B minor seven. And then E seven. And I'm sort of keeping in this position. So we could do it here. Or, but I've decided just to keep it in this voicing. Okay, F major 7, so this is a different version of this chord. F, C, E, A. This is a really nice major 7 chord uh, that we often, you know, we might play it like that. 
and that just keeps moving up according to the bass on the fourth string. So this is an F major seven, G major, A major, and then we're doing a little turnaround, a two five one, whether B minor seven flat five or B half diminished, E seven sharp nine, and then we go to our A major seven. And that's at the point we're going to leave it today. Uh, so that basically makes a transition or a modulation to A major 7 uh, by doing a 2 5 1. And at that point, it's the. So it's a bit of a modulation there. I should also add that in the LGM members, which is the companion to my Latin Guitar Mastery videos, is on my blog, latinguitarmastery.com. And as a member, you get to access the full version of this piece plus backing track, which you can pl practice along with and some other features as well. So head over there to get the extra features. Mm -hmm.